Let's talk about cotton yarn. If you are either a beginner to crochet or you have just never used cotton yarn before and you're interested in it, this should be a great video for you because I'm going to go over all of the cotton yarns I have personally used, everything I've learned about them, which ones I recommend most, which ones I recommend least, and which ones are best for what types of projects. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd love if you keep watching. This is Lily Sugar and Cream. A lot of you probably recognize this one because it's very popular. A lot of people use it. Um, it's probably the most common, honestly, but it is not one of my favorites. I'm sorry. I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it, but in comparison to the other cotton yarns that I have used and also the types of projects I make since I do mostly clothing, it is not my favorite and I will explain why. I'm sure there's more brands out there that I haven't used yet, but I have used a lot of them and in my experience I've found that there's like three different textures of cotton that I've found so far and they all are good for different things. So I don't dislike necessarily any cotton yarn but I do feel like some are better than others for certain types of projects. So Lily Sugar and Cream for example, I actually love the texture. Usually people that say they don't like it it's because they say it's not soft enough for them, they feel like it's too rough, but I actually love the texture. I think it's great. The only thing that I don't really like about it and the reason that I don't use it very much is because it is a little bit thicker, it's a thicker four weight, still four weight, all of these cottons that I'm showing you are four weight, but it's just a little thicker so it makes my gauge kind of off with a lot of projects and it also is more stiff so it doesn't have a lot of stretch or give which is important with a lot of clothing items that you're crocheting. Projects that I do think Lily Sugar and Cream is good for though is crop tops, specifically for anyone that likes extra support or doesn't want a lot of stretch and give. So it is really great for larger chests because it does offer more support and holds you in there a little bit better. Um, but I don't like it for all of my crop tops because I do like to use something that's a little bit softer when I can or any kind of crop tops where you're going to have any types of lacy stitches and stuff like that. It's not really great for that because of the stiffness. There is a dupe for it though. It is called Peaches and Cream and you can get it at Walmart. It is almost identical, but I feel like it's just a tad bit less soft and it does split a little bit more. So it's not as smooth to crochet with in my opinion. I prefer this one, but this one is better if you are on a budget. The next one that I would like to talk about is Crafter's Secret. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. It is similar to Lily Sugar and Cream and Peaches and Cream, so I would categorize it with this as far as the type of cotton, the texture anyway, um, but it is a little bit thinner, so I feel like it's not as stiff, but it has the same texture and softness if you like the texture of Lily Sugar and Cream, but you need something that's a little bit thinner, or if you're finding that Lily Sugar and Cream or Peaches and Cream is throwing your gauge off and it's just not working for you, I would recommend trying this one. It is great. It also has a really good color selection. So Lily Sugar and Cream also has a really good color selection, but Peaches and Cream doesn't have very many options. Um, and this one also has a lot of really cool ombres. That's one thing I love about it. Not, not many cotton brands have many ombre options and Crafter Secret has a lot of them. So I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for ombres or you just need something a little bit thinner than Lily Sugar and Cream. Projects that I think Crafter Secret is best for is also crop tops, but I also just make a lot of crop tops because that's one of my best selling items. I do a lot of clothing, but it is also great for pot holders or heat pads little coffee cozies, anything that's going to get very hot because most of you already know, you can only use cotton yarn for anything like that. It's going to get hot. Acrylic, yar acrylic yarn will melt, so it needs to be cotton, specifically stiffer cottons like this one. The Lily Sugar and Cream or the Peaches and Cream are great for those. So it really just comes down to which one you want, which store you're going to. This one is a Hobby Lobby exclusive, so you can only get Crafter's Secret at Hobby Lobby, but you can get Lily Sugar and Cream at Michael's and Joann's and probably Amazon and stuff. Um, and Peaches and Cream is only sold at Walmart. The next type that I wanna talk about is the soft cottons. So these are personally my favorites. These two right here are my most used cotton. I have this one right here, which is a Hobby Lobby exclusive. It's called I Love This Cotton. This one is the one that I originally fell in love with. So I have been using this one for years. I have it in like every single color that they offer it in. I just love it. I literally have an entire like set of drawers that is full of nothing but this cotton because I just love it so much. However, I did discover this one within the last year 
and <laughs> I didn't want to love it as much as I do at first because it does cost me more. So I tried to like not use it that much, but the more that I have used it, the more I am falling in love with it. And this one is quickly becoming my favorite. It is amazing. And this one is called Rainbow by Hobby. They also have a new one that they came out with. I think it's called Friends Cotton. It's identical. I don't even notice the difference. The, the label even looks the same. I'm not quite sure why they're calling it two different things because it, it is essentially the same yarn. So you can either get the rainbow or the friends cotton and it's going to be the same. They also have a amazing color selection. However, they do sell out pretty quickly and I don't think they restock as often as they probably should because every time I go to buy it, they're always sold out of a lot of the colors that I want. So that is the only downside that I have found with this yarn. But the reason I like it so much is because this one, my favorite, I have noticed over the years, especially as I've gained weight, <laughs> my chest thighs has been rapidly getting bigger. It does not work for me as well as it used to because it does not give me enough support as I currently need. As far as softness, both of these are almost identical. They are very similar. They are both very soft. However, the only reason that I'm starting to like this one just a little bit more is because it offers me just a little bit more support. So the only downside to soft cottons is they are not going to be as supportive. They don't hold their shape as well as stiffer yarns. Like I was saying earlier, Lily Sugar and Cream, Crafter Secret, Peaches and Cream. So if you need something that's going to be very supportive, this isn't going to be very good for crop tops. I am starting to use some of the other ones more for crop tops because of that, but when I do want a softer cotton for crop tops, I tend to lean towards this one more recently since it's a good in-between yarn. Still very soft, but just a little bit more supportive than this one. But this one is really good for shorts because it has such good stretch. Also skirts because you need that stretch for shorts and skirts. I haven't made an actual pair of pants yet. I've only done shorts and skirts, but this yarn would also be good for that as well. Since the same thing applies, you need a little bit more stretch and give for waistbands since you want it to be just a little bit tighter fitting in the waist, but you also need it to be loose enough to where you can get it up over your thighs. So if you're using a thicker, more stiff cotton, like the other brands I mentioned for pants, shorts, skirts, anything like that, they're going to be more stiff. It's not gonna have as much stretch or give, so you're going to have to account for that stretchiness when you're crocheting with it because a lot of yarns will stretch. A lot of patterns will tell you to not make it to the exact measurement to go an inch or two shorter since it is going to stretch, but when you are using stiffer cotton, it is not going to stretch an inch or two like these two will. So you kind of have to like experiment with cottons and learn that for yourself to fully like grasp that, but in general, these are better for things that will need to stretch. The last thing that I did want to mention about this type is that I feel like these are the most true to four weight or worsted, whatever you want to call it. I never have any trouble with the gauge when using either of these brands. It always comes out perfect. It's so soft. It's just really fun to work with. It never splits on me. So these are great. And like I said, this one is very, 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 very similar to the Friends Cotton. I honestly, I think it's identical. I think it's the same yarn. They just slapped a label on it and called it something different. But you can buy the Friends Cotton or the Rainbow from Hobby's website and they are based in Denmark. I don't believe they have any stores. They might in Denmark, I don't know. All I know is that I have to buy this and Friends Cotton online and I have to buy this from Hobby Lobby because it is a Hobby Lobby exclusive. And this is the last type that I wanna talk about. I don't really know how to describe them other than that they are thinner and the texture is just so different than any other cotton yarn I have ever used. I actually just recently discovered this one. I haven't even used it yet. This is the first one I've bought in this one. It is brand new, I believe, from Hobby Lobby in the um, brand Yarn B. I don't know if it's been out for longer and I just haven't noticed it, but it is almost identical. It is the exact same as Lion Brand's 24-7 cotton, but it is actually a little bit pricier. Um, well, it depends on where you get it from. Lion Brand, it's only $4.99, but at Joann's, I believe it's like $6, which is a lot in my opinion, for three and a half ounces of cotton yarn. Um, but this one is $5.49 regularly. However, this is a Hobby Lobby exclusive and Hobby Lobby does a 30% off yarn sale every other week all year long. The only downside to this one is that the color selection is not very big. There's not very many color options. However, the color options they do have are really pretty, but the 24-7 cotton has a lot better color options, a lot bigger selection for color options. But if you're going to get this one, definitely get this one directly from Lion Brand because you can get it cheaper than you can at Joann's. Joann's, 
sometimes they have it on sale you can get like a deal if you buy a three pack but it's still more expensive than just buying them individually from lion brand even when they do a sale on the three pack so just just go directly to lion brand if you're gonna get this um, but I love it. It's great. I use it for crop tops. There's a specific design that I freehanded that I plan to possibly release a pattern for whenever I have the time to write it um, that I use this yarn for almost every time I make that design because it just it's so supportive in the cups and I just I love it. It's so nice. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. You will just have to get your hands on it and try it because it's indescribable. It's so good. Projects that I think this yarn is good for is really any type of clothing. It's great for crop tops. It's got a lot of support but it's not super thick like low sugar and cream so if you're looking for a thinner more lightweight cotton but you will still want that support this one is a really good option um, it's really good for anything that has lacy stitches even better than my favorite I would say for laciness because of the just I don't I, I don't know how to describe it it just it gives this really cool texture and like flow to it it's great for ruffles anything like that so it's really good for anything that has more intricate lacy type of stitches and you can even use it as a replacement for three weight yarn because i feel like it is so thin that it is basically three weight in my opinion even though it is still classified as a four for some reason to end this video i will just say these three are my favorite of all of the ones that i showed y'all i just love them so much for a lot of different things I use these three the most out of all of the cotton brands that I have ever tried. They are all amazing. They all have great color selections and they are just the best in my opinion. But if y'all have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If y'all have any other requests for videos that y'all would like to see or advice, tutorials from me, let me know and I would love to put those out for y'all.